teacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with another video. All right, people, this is an easy video. This is easy. I know y'all think it's complicated because it's Del Potro against uh, Djokovic. This is an easy video. Let me get it going. Men's final tomorrow. Okay, people, now this is the way this is the way this is going to break down. All right. Um... You know, people, I was going to come out and make a video saying, you know what, I don't believe in Del Potro, which I really don't, okay? Depending on the situation. I believe in him if Nadal, Federer, Djokovic are not playing at their super level. But I don't really believe in Del Potro, really. Okay, so I was going to come out and say, I don't believe in Del Potro. Djokovic going to win this match. Uh, he going to win it in four. He may win it in three. Blah, blah, blah. Del Potro is just like Chilich. They really, they really can't get it done if they go against a high level uh, the Djokovic or a high level Federer or a high level Nadal. So I was going to come out and talk that way that the Djokovic going to take care of Del Potro and Del Potro, I'm not taking him. And if he proves me wrong, so be it. But I don't believe in Del Potro. He hasn't won a major. He only got one major. That's all right. But he hasn't won one since uh, 2008, I believe. So why am I going to put some confidence in Del Potro? And he's just like that old challenge. That I was going to come out and make the start the video off like that, okay? But then I thought, okay. I say, you know what? I better be cautious here because uh, if I come out and talk like that, y'all, y'all subscribers and viewers gonna come back and bust me open Sunday afternoon if Del Potro pulls this off. Okay, now, okay, so you, so are uh, you saying? So you're probably saying, well, Magic Man, are you saying that Del Potro uh, could win this? Could upset the Djokovic? Okay, people, I do believe he could upset the Djokovic, but not for the reasons that most of you all believe he's going. He could upset the Djokovic. Most people believe Del Potro uh, could possibly upset the Djokovic because Del Potro is playing so well. Everybody, Del Potro playing so well. Okay, uh, that's not the reason why I'm going to. I'm going to take. The Djokovic, I'm going to take Djokovic, but I'm going to do it with caution. But it has nothing to do with how well the Djokovic is, I mean, uh, Del Potro is playing. If, if, if the Djokovic lock into the God mode, what the Djokovic fans call the God mode, that super level, he will beat Del Potro straight sets. But here's the problem. That's not a guarantee. And this is why I'm going to cautiously take... Uh, the Djokovic to beat Del Potro tomorrow. I said cautiously, not because Del Potro is playing well. And I just told you why. I don't care how well Del Potro plays. He can't be a super level the Djokovic that locks in when the Djokovic, the, the Djokovic's eyes get this big and he's just totally on the ball and the ball looks bigger than a basketball. Okay, Del Potro cannot beat that the Djokovic. But Del Potro could be a lesser the Djokovic. And people, check this out. Based on the history, the reason I'm moving with caution, and I will, does this deserve the the upset alert? Y'all remember, I put the upset alert on the uh, Serena Williams, Naomi Osaka match, meaning I took Serena to beat Naomi Osaka, but I put upset alert. Naomi Osaka could upset Serena Williams. So now, does this match deserve the upset alert? Yes, it does. Yes, yes. Quick question, easy answer. Yes, it does deserve the upset alert, but not for the reasons that you all think. You all think Del Potro is playing so well. And uh, see, I don't buy that that he beat the, the whole the Del Potro match. I believe Nadal was injured really now there may be some people that don't believe Nadal was really injured they believe Del Potro just straight beat him or that Nadal was a little tired and he saw he couldn't beat Del Potro so he forfeited no I believe Nadal was seriously injured and even before the match here I mean not fatigue but injured and I believe that's why Del Potro was able to beat him okay now if you don't now if you don't believe that then probably you should take Del Potro now let me get back to my reason for for, 
for moving for moving cautiously. Even though I'm taking the Djokovic, people, history has shown. Check this out, people. During the Djokovic's peak. Now we y'all have heard me talk about the Djokovic's Pete. He dominated Federer. He dominated Nadal. But people, the Djokovic also has some losses in majors, major losses. Okay. Now Nadal fans do remind me when I say the Djokovic dominated Nadal. He beat Nadal eleven of the last thirteen times they played. He beat Nadal seven consecutive times in a row. Nadal fans will quickly jump into the comment section and say, "But Magic Man, uh." Between uh, the Djokovic's peak did start 2011. Nadal did beat the Djokovic two times during the Djokovic's peak. I'm not gonna count 2010. That was that was a high level of the Djokovic, but not the super level, super super level. But Nadal did beat the Djokovic in the French Open, and he beat the Djokovic in the 2013 U.S. Open, I believe. Okay, people also Warinka during the Djokovic's peak. Warinka beat the Djokovic in the French Open. I forgot what year it was. The French Open, I think the 2015 French Open or the Djokovic, yeah, 2015 French Open, and Warinka also beat the Djokovic. And I got, I forgot, whichever U.S. Open, it could have been the, I don't know if it was the 2016 U.S. Open. I don't know it could have been, but don't take don't take my word on the year. But Warinka beat the Djokovic twice. So this is good news for Del Potro fans. This is good news for, I don't know who Federal fans or Nadal fans are pulling for. If they pulling for Del Potro, they probably pulling for Del Potro because they don't want the Joker. I assume the Dow fans and Federal fans don't want Del Potro to win. Because I mean, want the uh, uh, Djokovic to win because he'll move closer towards the Dow and closer towards Federal. But this is good news, people. The Djokovic, he can be beat. And during his peak, I'm saying, people, I just show y'all, as dominant as the Djokovic was, he did take some major losses. And so, this could, tomorrow, the Djokovic may not be in the super level mode. He could just be in a good mode. I don't think the Djokovic's going to play bad. But if the Djokovic is in a good Djokovic, see, that's for the Djokovic's. There's the average the Djokovic. I think Del Potro, the way it's, he's playing, could beat that the Djokovic. Okay. There is the good the Djokovic. That, maybe the good the Djokovic. Del Potro may barely beat him. Then you got the very good the Djokovic. I think the very good the Djokovic could barely beat Del Potro. Barely. Maybe in four or five. Maybe five. But the super, what they call the God mode the Djokovic. Super, super level. We'll dust Del Potro off the map. Okay? I'm not sure the super mode the Djokovic will show up tomorrow. Okay? So I'm going to cautiously... Uh, I'm I think the very good the Djokovic will show up. That's barely enough to beat that po Potro. So let me go ahead and give the prediction. And the, the, the analysis is over. And the video is over. I'm going to take the Djokovic cautiously to beat Del Potro. It could be in four though. Okay, like I did say, if the Djokovic lock in, now he may lock in. He he this will be his second final. He may lock in. I don't even know what the head to head is with the Djokovic and Del Potro. I assume the, the Djokovic is leading, but it doesn't matter what the head to head is. What matters is is whether the Djokovic would go to the God mode. And will he be at least in the very good mode? If the Djokovic drops below the very good the Djokovic into the good mode, not the very good the Djokovic, the good Del Potro may get the good the Djokovic. So the Djokovic better stay in the very good the Djokovic mode, okay? So I'm going to cautiously take the Djokovic with the upset alert on. The upset alert is turn on that Del Potro could upset him. I won't be surprised, but I got the Djokovic beating Del Potro. He could do it in three, but I'm going to say in four. Okay, people, tennis preacher, prophet, psychic. And by the way, people, this if the Djokovic wins, people, that means he would have won two majors this year. Who else has won two majors this year? So that means if the Djokovic win, uh, wins tomorrow, he would have ended up having going from a lousy year from the first four months being lousy to having the best year this year okay people tennis preacher prophet psychic signing off have a good one